Okay. So very good morning and welcome to the session of Innovation Next. You know, we provide the digital tools for supercharging your innovation and startup ecosystem. And in this session, I would like to show you the tools which is going to benefit all of you. Uh, we had shared the email yesterday, Dr. Sunil, and uh, I hope everybody has this mail which is on my screen. And there, the, the link for the tools was given here. I hope everybody has got this link. Has everybody got this link? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. yes, sir. Yes, okay. So now we admit some people joining again. Okay. The moment you click on this link, you know, it takes you to the World Innovation Network platform, which is, which is on your screen, you know, which you can see here. The moment you will click that link, you will see, I hope everybody has got their laptops. They can click the link and they can see that here is the World Innovation Network platform. This is basically this link. I'm clicking in front of you. The moment you click, you will see the link, the World Innovation Network. And what you should do is on these three dots, extreme corner, so that you don't have to access this mail again and again. Simply go over here and go to more tools and create a shortcut. So this will, the moment to create a shortcut, it will create the shortcut on your desktop. So that you don't have to access the mail again and again. It's a very simple procedure. Just create the shortcut of this. Next time you come over here, you will be able to straight away go from the shortcut itself. More people joining. Right? So that is one of the first things that you need to do. Please create a shortcut on your screen. So next time you double click on that shortcut, you will straight away go over here on the screen. Now this World Innovation Network, you know, I'm switching this email off, is on your screen now. Hope you can see the World Innovation Network on the screen. Right? The first thing that you need to do is to go on downloading all the tools, the proprietary tools of Innovation Next, which is given here, Innovation Next tools for download. You can see this, the golden cube over here. Click on this and you will see that the tools for download are there in these four sections, which is the 3D idea generators, number one. So click on the 3D idea generators and there is a, although there is an installation procedure you can simply download it, but for your quick benefit, click on download all the 3D idea generators on your PC through the Google Drive. So at the moment you click on this and click once again on this, you will find that this particular link takes you to the 3D idea generators on the Google Drive. And the moment you say download over here, right click and download in next two three minutes all the 3d idea generators will get downloaded on your screen on your on your computer please save it in the innovation next tools as 3d idea generation folder which is already there the next and the very important part is the ready to use mind mapping templates. There's section number two. Click on this and before you download the tools, it is very important to download the XMind software, which is this arrow button. 
click on this arrow button and you will find that download the XMind software option comes in. The first button over here. Click on this button and you will find that download the XMind free version on the PCs because our templates, guided templates, they will not work unless you have downloaded the XMind free version on the PCs. So click here and go to the XMind. It takes you to the XMind. And over here, you will find that there is a free download version for the XMind, this button, the free download button. The moment you click this, in few seconds, the XMind software will be downloaded on your machine. Simply follow the installation procedure and you are done. So this is very important, very important function for running our guided mind mapping templates, which is basically the heart and soul of the whole tools that we have here. Now, once you have downloaded the XMind software, the next is basically to download all the mind maps. And this is what is downloading all the mind maps to the Google Drive, the second button over here. This is being recorded, so it will not be difficult. I will also share the recording of this. So in case you are not able to follow, you can always refer it again. Now click here and you will see that there are three steps. Step one, step two, install XMind and all. You need not do it. You need not do step one and step two because you have already downloaded the XMind. So just step three, open the mind maps. Right click on this and download. So all the 100 mind maps will get downloaded on your screen. Instead of in, you know individually downloading, simply click this and put the download button on the Google Drive. All the mind maps will get downloaded on your, on your computer screen, on your, on, your, on your computer. So this is the most important part. First of all, download the idea generators. Next, download the mind maps. Now, the moment you have downloaded the mind maps, you know, you will, you will find that, uh, you know, the mind maps, this is basically step three, open mind map templates. You will find that seven sections of the mind mapping templates have been downloaded on your system. These are the first steps that you have to take to download. The other downloading is very simple. Uh, you can, you know, go and download individually these files. So there are assessment tools. This can be downloaded one by one uh, without any Google Drive. Simply click on any of the tool. And, you know, there is a download icon which will come, which is, which is this icon. You can simply download. For example, if you want to download the SS, assess the power of your idea, simply download this and the moment you click here, the downloading on the screen on the left hand side, it starts and just open the file and you can see it. So downloading the other portions are not, are not difficult at all. It is only the first two sections, which are the Google Drive. The fourth download is basically the premium pro presentations. These are basically learning management systems. Again, the Google Drive is given on the first one. If you click here, although the presentations can be downloaded individually also, but if you click here on the Google Drive and simply, you know, download this, the, just right click here and say download, all the presentations will be downloaded on your system within two to three minutes. So this is as far as the procedure for download is concerned. Right. I can still see a lot of people still joining in because they're late, but still I hope they understand because we will share the things with them. So once the tools have been downloaded, the next nine sections, there are total 10 sections in the World Innovation Network. They're basically for references. And I'll show you, they're all connected to the guided mind maps and all. So once you've downloaded the mind maps, you know, you will find that 
the most important section for your institute over here are basically these mind maps you know you have, you have seen section 3 mind maps which is startup development framework you know technology startups design innovation these are different different templates which are given to you and these are the templates which your students or which you will have to use for the purpose of the development of the products and the businesses now for example the startup development framework which is here you know uh, let me let me show you i have already got these files open the the mind map for startup development framework it starts with the problem resolution now this is the first mind map which is very important for everybody every innovation basically it begins with this first mind mapping template which you see on the screen typically mind maps have to be created but in this case the mind maps are already given to the students so that they can move in a scientific manner over here you can see there are links given over here explore the global challenges so if you click here this is connected with the uh, you know world innovation network so if you want to see the innovation challenges the win link you can simply click over here this this arrow button which is here click here and you will find that this is connected to the section on the world innovation competitions and prizes if you want to know the challenge of a company let's say you deliver today you can click on this and again click on this to see what are the various challenges these are connected to the dynamic live websites of the companies you can explore various challenges so what are the latest challenges in climate action what are the latest challenges in in you know waste free world or in positive nutrition if you click here you can see what exactly the companies are looking at what kind of a waste free world challenges are available here so this gives you a very important area for which the innovations actually are required today i mean carbon neutral or regenerative packaging if you click on this you will find that the companies have given the description of the needs that they have right or you know the new rules to improve the uh, the quality post customer recycle plastic etc so a very important thing for you to note is that all these mind maps are connected to the world innovation network now if you want to know what are the needs i mean that was the challenges part but what are the global needs of the companies again this two chain button over here if you click it opens up the connectivity with the world innovation network so what are the various needs of the companies in every sector is extremely very important right so uh, for example let us say a student might want to work for a fmcg today right so what are the needs of the fmcg click over here on this and you come inside the needs of the fmcg industry these are the accelerators who are supporting the students in their startup journey as well so it is not only important for us to understand what is the requirement i think it is also very beneficial because these accelerators help the students in their startup journey as well so they are your customers also so many companies needs are given over here you know right from sephora to hankel to uh, you know estee uh, lauder to kellogs to starbucks so let us say procter and gamble click on this as you click on this it takes you on the websites which is the Pro procter and gamble so industry academia co innovation becomes very very simple i think one of the biggest challenges today for the academia is to get connected with the industry for a win win you know solution so what is procter and gamble looking for you can see the current needs as you click on this you can see open innovation is in action 
So this whole system that we provide to you is absolutely opposed to closed innovation, which universities are practicing today. You know, they are trying to figure out as to what are the needs and on which ideas they have to work. The biggest challenge of the product and the market fit or the biggest challenge for the universities to find out as to what is the need of the innovation today or what is the breakthrough idea that they should work on they get from this open innovation platform. And you can see that Dr. and Gamble has got so many needs in life lab, in oral, personal and family care innovations, in beauty and grooming innovation. There are many girls who come to the college, they have some great ideas on beauty and grooming. So they, they know that if they work on this tomorrow, Dr. and Gamble is one of the most important customers who would be interested in their innovations. The problem is the students do not find the scale up of their ideas. So, so let us say, uh, you know, in Life Lab, for example, you click here, you know, it tells you that the company has got so many needs. For example, waste to work. Then they have the need for amplifying the human potential. How do you boost the human capabilities to attain abilities for endurance, mobility, and dexterity? I think these are very, very important research that the companies have already done. This eliminates the need for the companies to do a market research because the research has already been done by them. So your research centers, your idea labs, you know, what are the great ideas that, you know, they would be working on? You will find that, you know, you, instead of working on the idea generated by the students, you know, which eventually find it very difficult for the purpose you know, of, of scale up later on. The students will be working on the breakthrough ideas. So this is, I mean, for example, let us say, democratize the bio beauty transformations. Many of the girls, many of the girl students today, they have a very good idea on the bio beauty. So how do they work on this democratize professional satisfaction? You can go back and search for the other needs. There are needs on the oral, personal and family care innovations. So there are 16 current needs. Can one of your students work on the sleep technologies? So they say we are interested in opportunities that complement our sleep portfolio. The diagnostic technologies for oral care. Uh, can somebody work on the novel cleaning agents? You know, you know what diapers actually did. Diapers created a billion dollar industry uh, for Procter & Gamble. It was not a rocket science. Somebody simply observed that the mothers have the problem in changing the nappies at night and, and came up with the idea of the diapers. So there are so many areas, you know, you will find that these mind maps, which are over here, they, they basically connect you with the organizations. You could, you could simply see the needs of uh, automotive industry or the pharma industry. Let me take you to the needs of the automotive, let us say, industries over here. There are so many accelerators who have provided the ideas on which they want to work today. Let us say Honda accelerators. Right? Simply click on this and you will find that you know, it takes you inside the Honda accelerator platform. And all they want the students today is to dream faster. You know, uh, that is the beauty. So, so what, what do they offer? Not only do they tell you what are the areas, the focus areas, you can see the focus areas that's your ideal lab and the students can work on. So when I visited, I saw there was the robotics lab, there was the, uh, you know, 3D printing lab, there was the uh, AR, VR lab. So the, 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 the students exactly know the area of the focus. So can they create innovations in the area of energy and the environment? Can they simplify the EV charging, for example, right? Can they create, uh, can they utilize the wind energy for, 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 for charging the batteries, the robotics, for example? So you have all the areas in which they need the ideas from the students and what they provide is the support for funding and prototyping. Because you may not be having the automotive labs or you may not be having the, the complete infrastructure where these products actually can be developed. 
so you need not worry now if there is a great idea and you know you can talk to these organizations they are there to provide you all kind of support how do you test your products uh, how honda will be able to provide their domain specialist mentors you know if selected you will be paired with the honda mentor i think this is a very very important challenge that many of the universities have to do they do not have the domain expertise and the mentors they guide you through the development and refinement of your product or the business idea so this whole you know ecosystem was missing from the universities which they will be able to access and not only that a unique collaboration workspaces are available so they also provide you with that and so so what are you waiting for one click if you say i mean just simply tell them the basic idea that you have in your mind and the email goes to them the whole system is absolutely online you don't even have to type their email accelerator at honda innovations dot com from your piet the idea that you are working on not sharing the entire concept will definitely attract honda accelerators to work with you so these are very very important areas where we want that you know your your people actually you know should should explore these ideas and as i said you know when when you go and see the needs of of these automotive accelerators you find open bosch for example now bosch is supporting many of the students at the universities the whole system has become open open bosch open innovation at bosch this means creating win win partnership between bosch and startups so many of your students today you know they can even sell so what is in it for the startups they say that bosch will purchase the solution even at the proof of concept today the ideas are getting sold at every every stage so even if it is a proof of concept or even if it is a prototype or even if it is a minimum viable product i'm talking about the various stages there are buyers so you can consider this world innovation network as a platform as a complete marketing platform for your innovations which was completely missing so if you are not interested in converting it into a you know your own factory you don't want to manufacture it you want to simply sell the solution as a poc to bosch the market is available in front of you and this is what is actually called commercialization of the innovation so many of your cold storage ideas even today you know which are not seeing the light of the day can be brought you know can be revived uh, and you know they can be shared so they say the students can test their idea now who can match the infrastructure of bosch they can they can learn they can speed up you know save time so they ensure that a fast poc purchasing and funding process is done to speed up your time to market this is another very big challenge the time to market the product many of the startups just struggle in the incubators because the time to market is not there i mean their time to market taken is too high the networking so bosch will connect the idea to the key decision makers to grow their businesses and finally i think the biggest challenge as a result of which 95% of the startups they fail is the challenge of scaling up how do you scale up your startups so they say that they help you in scaling your startup within bosch so you can find that there are so many avenues so many avenues for for the students uh, to see what exactly are the needs of the organizations they look at the pharma look at the energy links pharma sector i think this is one of the sectors where the so many needs that the companies have today and on your screen the mind map is connected to the accelerators of the pharma companies imagine a student who has got just one idea on the healthcare if he has cracked one solution how many companies are waiting in the pipeline you know you have uh, you have a bot you have johnson and johnson you have bear open innovation you have merck innovation you have pfizer and if you want to know what are the specific needs go on the website see what sanofi is actually looking for there are two 
two options everywhere. Check out on your needs. So you can check out the needs of Sanofi. What are the areas in which they are looking for the solutions in the areas of the healthcare to them? Whether it is digestive health or whether it is the, the cough and cold area, whether it is nutritional health. So you can view the needs. You can see the kind of requirements that they have. That is a sustainable packaging. This is a very important research for the students. What we are looking for, you know, a primary packaging solution that is 100% recyclable and biodegradable and compostable. The solutions must be this, it must have this, but it will not be glass. So the research and the requirement is very, very specific. And this mind map is basically for you to find out the energy needs the consumer electronic needs, the needs in the, in, the, in the sector of agriculture, every area. I think most of the professors over here would be working in one domain or the other. The reason of giving, giving you so much of diversity is to make sure that every professor and every student's passion, you know, it matches with the work that he wants to do. So let us say Shell, can you imagine that today Shell is collaborating with the entrepreneurs, you know, a Fortune 500 company, right, is collaborating with the entrepreneurs and the startup, which the students are not aware of. So the whole idea is to see what the Shell game changer is. They say we work with startups on unproven early stage ideas with the potential to impact the future of the energy. Today, the venture capital is not going to fund you. The angel investor is not going to fund you on the unproven early stage ideas. But Shell Ventures is there. Shell Game Changer program is there. You know, Shell TechWorks is there. How many, can you see the, the bandwidth of the open innovation program that they have created for you? Many of the professors would be doing some research. So the, there is a Shell Research Alliance. So many of the professors will be, the students will be working on the early stage ideas. And that is, I think, a big challenge for many of the universities. Students have ideas, they don't know where to go. So this one single mind map, which is connected, it takes you through various needs of the industries. So that is as far as understanding the open innovation ecosystem is concerned. You know, and if you want, I mean, if you want to see this directly on the World Innovation Network also, it is given over here in section nine, which is, uh, you can see accelerators by FMCG, accelerators by automobile, accelerators by pharma, consumer electronics, chemical companies. Now imagine, be right from BASF to DuPont to DO to DSM, you know, everybody is basically open to collaboration with the universities today. So not, you can see the bandwidth. This is the power of the package that, that you see over here, that they will be able to work with so many of these organizations, accelerators in construction, in, in, uh, you know, uh, in the banking space. Well, this is about the MNCs, but what about the Indian companies? So section 10 actually talks about the, uh, the companies you know, which, are, which are there in India and who are supporting the organizations. Let us say BizLabs, the Aditya Birla platform. Now it is very difficult for you to conventionally go to Aditya Birla group of companies which have got about 10 to 12 businesses. But here is the open innovation platform which talks about their multifarious challenges and, and how, you know, you can straight away directly, you know, you can actually go to the Aditya Birla group and find out the challenges that they have, the themes that they have, the way they are partnering with startups and universities and incubators, all the questions that you have, how you can apply, you know, and see whom to contact, etc. So this whole platform that you see here, Similarly, Tata Innovers, many of your students, you know, the hackathons that they keep on doing, they can simply go and click here and see various challenges. 
the open innovation challenges which Tata, you know, versus given to them, the reward money which is there, et cetera, et cetera, for every challenge. You know, you have Maruti, let us say Maruti Udog, you don't want to go to any other foreign company today. The accelerators over here, they say that this is basically for the technology startup. So any student having an idea can simply go here and see, you know, how they can submit that idea and talk to them. For the whole platform, Vedanta Spark, you know, GMR, uh, even the airports today, uh, GMR has come up with their open innovation challenge platform, where they're providing all the support to the students, you know, and, and the students can see uh, the benefits that, you know, are given to them in the areas of the startup. So airport ecosystem exposure, access to GMR partner ecosystem, mentoring, funding opportunity and all. Well, the idea was basically to tell you to please explore uh, these sections because this is the starting point for any kind of a startup or an innovation. I believe if you are working on a great idea, that you know it's, it's a great innovation out. And, and that is why I call even innovation as basically, you know, uh, the Gigo space, the, the great idea is in and the great innovation is out. The next process, so this guided mind maps, as you click on them, the analytical thinking. So if once you know what is the need, how would you actually begin your process? From what are the causes to why exactly there is a problem? So the student, you know, they can simply write the causes here by putting the subtopic that these are, according to him, the causes of the problem. Every mind map expands with every click, right? Where exactly the problem is there, you know, you can expand it and see how many people are getting affected. So you can write over here to know the market space which is available today. You can go back and go to the next step, which is about creative thinking. Click on this. As you click on this, you will see that creativity involves imagination. And if the student wants to know more about imagination, there is a note over here, uh, this portion. So the ability to produce and simulate novel objects and ideas, the mind without any immediate input of the senses, the visual thing, free thinking without the bonds. And what are the five levels of creative thinking? Many of the students are on imitation today. So how will they move their idea from imitation to combination to transformation? These mind, mind map is basically a thinker's platform. And for a thinker's platform, you need many ideas. Every step. So what is divergent thinking? In how many ways can this problem be resolved? Uh, convergent thinking. You know, Many times they have chance experiments, accidental discoveries. So you can simply go and you know click on every part of it and see what exactly the idea it is trying to derive at. You know? Unconventional thinking, for example. How can you think opposite? How do you break the standard rules? Right? Uh, how do you think different? How do you challenge conventional wisdom? These all areas, you know, design thinking, for example. There are certain principles, you know, which are given over here. Can this uh, can we utilize something else? Can we substitute a different material? Can we divide the object into various parts? And then there is an idea generator that we provide, you know, which you have downloaded already. There are 12 kinds of idea generator. So the idea generator over here, I'll just show you on the screen. So we provide the innovation rubrics. This is a five into five into five idea generator. I hope you can see my screen, Dr. Sunil. Yes, sir. Yeah. We can see. Yeah. So, so this idea generator you can see is an innovation Rubik's cube. You know, this is developed to create and change the thinking pattern of the students from a linear thinking to a non-linear thinking. You know to develop his cognitive flexibility because students, you know, they're only programmed for a linear sort of a thinking. 
So how do you create something you know which is unique? So for example, if they're on design, they can always shuffle the cube. The equation changes now. So how do you create something new and simpler? How do you you know create something different by combining two materials? You know you can shuffle it further, horizontal shuffle, or the vertical shuffles. Suddenly you will get an idea that okay, I think we can make it self-driven. The blue idea that you see on the center of your screen. And the beauty is that you know I, I I can go on and on, but this is also programmed for a twenty times of random shuffling, because if you have the chaos, you have the creative order, because creativity is not possible unless there is a chaos. So you shuffle the cube, and you can see that this is programmed for a twenty times of random shuffling, and every shuffle creates a very unique permutation and the combination of ideas. So innovation is nothing but the fusion of ideas, right? So how do you create new patterns, you know, which can which can have wheel or which can minimize uh, the pain areas? How do you make something which is convertible, so on and so forth? So you have to develop the habit of you know uh, generating new ideas on the cubes, and if you see how it is transported on a mind map. So when we were doing this exercise for Tata Motors, all these ideas, you know, there are some people still joining. We admit all. Okay, so the ideas from the cube are pasted on the mind maps. For example, when the word sensor came in, it was you know uh, we we brought the word over here, and Tata Motors expanded the word sensor. So they said, "How can you create a distance sensor so that there is never an accident? Many of the accidents they happen because the person is trying to overtake. But if there is the alarm before overtaking, which says that it is not a distance worthy uh, overtaking right now, the accidents will never happen. So it is very simple to take any idea from the idea generator on the mind map. I'll show you. Simply go on the Windows." snipper tool which is which is on your screen which is this scissor so if you say take this new one over here and say convertible i can copy this idea convertible idea and i can go on the on the mind map which is this mind map enter and simply paste so the convertible idea becomes your main idea for ex for for expansion so this is the relationship between the mind map and the idea generator whatever ideas you see on the idea generator helps you to expand the ideas by going on the mind maps right it just it's just a question of practice you know it, it may appear to uh, be uh, a little difficult at this stage but the more you use it as you even if you buy the mobile phone you have to get user friendly to that so the whole process is basically getting used to it So we were on this mind map on design thinking, right? So by the time the student, you know, solves, uh, looks into all this, uh, for example, innovative thinking, right? How can you make it faster? How can you make it better? You know, if he has any idea, he can simply pick up the subtopic. He can say, okay, how do you make it cheaper? For example, you know, he can just say that you know we can we can sell it at this kind of a price. How do you make it greener? i think green thinking is very important i mean how do you use the non conventional sources of energy let us say mobile phone for charging today right or how do you make it smarter by connecting you know with different other products maybe you you want to connect it with alexa right the hotel concierge today you know they have removed the person and the the alexa tells you exactly whatever queries you have today so innovative thinking so by the time the student has seen this he is able to come out with some great solutions even connectivity with the uh, the sustainable development goals as you click on this you will find that you know the sdgs have been completely provided so if somebody was working on on any of the area you know let us say uh, the the areas of quality education or good health or well being energy anywhere that you know you want to work at you can simply go and click on these areas let us say 
the shell's area of energy today. It is also connected to sustainable development goals. Why I say this is because if you are working on an SDG, the chances of getting the funding is very, very high. So click here on the SDGs. So, so simultaneously, you can see that you are able to connect the problem with the sustainable development goal of the United Nations. So in your university, you will find that, you know, one of the objectives of any university today is also to basically work for SDGs. So what are the various challenges? So one third of the world's population, it uses dangerous and inefficient cooking systems. This in itself is a challenge statement. So you, you get to understand the broader global picture and not just the local scenarios. And 759 people have the lack of access to electricity. So how will you, how will your students look into these areas and solve the problem? So the whole system that you find over here, uh, it's the, the mind mapping system that we have is a connected system. And by the time the student spends, you know, some time or the faculty spends with the student some time on this, they are able to come out with the radical solutions. I think this is what is very important. Completely new solution, a game changer, which redefines the industry. So these mind maps, the first mind map itself, you know, is the mind map of a breakthrough thinking. Once you have a great solution, I think all the next steps, you know, they, 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 they fall into space. They, they fall into the proper place. The most important thing for any kind of an innovation is the first space. And that is the first mind map that you see here. I think this is the make or break situation for any kind of a startup. There is no point in going for an idea which does not have a product in the market. So you can select the solutions, uh, some of the best solutions as a result of this mind map. So you can see, I can, I can you know, fold all the branches. I can unfold all the branches. And move ahead. So this is as far as the mind mapping system is concerned. The next need, you know, they're all in a very serial order. The next need would be for creating a new design. So this is the template for the design innovations. So in your idea lab today, I think many of the new designs have to come. How would we guide the students? So uh, the, the principles of design, the basic principles of design are already put over here on the screen. And you can see uh, the student can combine two products. So I think the classic example over here would be the HP all-in-one printer. How the, how the products can be combined? Even in the case of not only the, the, the computers, but even in the case of agriculture, the agricultural combines, the different processes which can be combined, combining two different technologies. Right? So if they have any idea, they can simply expand these ideas. So on a mind map, you will find that there is the, the principal idea the main idea and the sub idea which is given. So 90% of the ideation is already done. How will you eliminate? So how will you eliminate on the expensive parts? Right? Or, or you know, the, uh, the scarce materials? Uh, how would you adjust within the, given of, within the given available space or money or time? You have a budget constraint and you have to make something in that. The available space. I think uh, vertical farming is a very, very good example of the land not being there and you know how they have multiplied one acre into various acres. How would you modify? So every step, you know, you can, you can simply expand all the steps, fold or you can unfold all of them. And this basically gives you the complete snapshot of your design thinking mind map. The students can come up with Things you know which will have better features, the UX and UI, they know they have to, their design must create value and not just aesthetics. They must have new attributes of comfort and quality. So design thinking becomes very easy. Uh, the next step is even advanced principle of design thinking because uh, there are many engineers, you know, 
who would be coming there and not just the basic principle of design but the 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 40 principles advanced principles and every principle over here is a project by itself so sunil ji you can actually tell your students that they should work on the kind of principles which are given over here for example the principle of segmentation divide an object into parts or sections of similar nature to increase the value of the product the example is IKEA modular furniture, right? Or the split air conditioner. There is a project for the student, your design concept based on this principle. He can go back and he can look into the second one, which says taking out or extraction. Extract the disturbing part of the property from an object. The wheels were taken out of the truck to make a shipping container for easy, easy transportation and shipping. And that has redefined the entire shipping industry. So what is the design concept based on this principle? There would be many such cases. So every student, you know, when they are working on their design thinking, you know, when they are working on the idea labs, they will look into every principle. They look the principle of local quality. The Victorinox knife, they provided the, uh, you know, multiple tools. And one of the tools was basically the pen drive on a knife and a laser pointer for the working executive. Now, this is how, this is what is known as the principle of local quality, where every part works for some kind of a benefit. What are the various ideas the students can have to create something like this? So Victorinox may be just a symbolic example. Can you imagine that how many projects, I think this is a very, very important part uh, of the mind mapping template, which can be given to the students as the, of, as, as the projects, the project of merging, merge or combine similar objects, ideas or the operations. So we have given over here many examples. So every principle that you see over here is a project by itself. There is a principle of nested doll. And basically the nested doll, Russian nested doll has inside it a smaller doll and then again a smaller doll and a smaller doll. That principle is known as nested doll. So the example is a folding bicycle, right? The camera tripod. These are all examples where many of your students can create amazing designs in your institute. I think uh, you should give them, you should give your students the projects as to what are the areas that what are the principles that they want to work and every principle, uh, the example, the other way around. This is a, this is a very, very important principle. Uh, it is an opposite way of acting. Let us see the conveyor belt at the airports. You know, instead of you walking the, the, it moves in the opposite direction so that, you know, it can take you to your destination. What will be a new design concept on this basis? So there are many ideas that the students can see. So these all, you know, templates, they are providing you with some great ideas and let us say creating cheap short living objects. So some new ideas on this, all the ideas, you know, the examples, this, this is a very good idea of blessing in disguise. Now, if you see this idea, LPG cylinders, you know, how can you use harmful factors and the mixing of the ethyl mercaptan having a bad odor with the LPG to detect the leaks with the smell. LPG does not detect, you know, it does not actually has a bad odor. It is mixed in it so that in case there is a leakage, people can find out. So this is called using the blessing in disguise. Many more such examples can be created by the students. So our idea is to empower them with the mind maps, which enables them to create many more new solutions. Well, this is about the, the design part of it. Now, it is very important to know the every product, how it can be converted into a smart product. So you will find that there are mind maps given on smart innovations. 
whether it is smart cities or smart automobiles. The student is working for Honda or he's working for Maruti or is working for many companies today. If he wants to just open this to get the, the, the idea as to what smart automobiles are, the whole you know, ideation be, behind smart automobiles is in front of your screen. So let us say any, any smart automobile today must have a smart driving assistance. Despite the 500 meter rule, there are many truck accidents. We have given the example here, immobilize the engine for the drunken drivers. Because nobody follows the 500 meter rule. Is it possible for one of your students to work on this area and immobilize the engine the moment it senses that the alcohol level of a driver is very high? And he can also, you know, give his new idea over here that on a similar lines, I have these two, three ideas. The automated emergency management, the drones for charging battery of the electrical vehicles in the case of emergency conditions. Because as the EVs grow up, it is possible that, you know, these cars would get stuck up in some remote areas. How can you create a new example around this? driver safety systems, accident assist. So if your students can create ideas around this, you know, there will be, there are many takers, many accelerators, which you can see. So all our mind maps, you know, they will provide you with the basic thinking process, the main ideas, which are there for the purpose of their innovations. If, and, and the good thing is, that, you know, I forgot to tell you that this is also connected with the uh, World Innovation Network. So the latest technologies in the automobiles, if the student wants to have more ideas, he can see the smart automotive technologies. And every video is over here. So they can actually see as to how this, this car has been created, you know, which changes the colors. I will not run the video for the best interest of the time because the time is less. But they can see all these videos. So these mind maps, which are there, are actually connected. We switch this off. They, they can be connected. And you can see that. And then the next channel that we have over here is technology providers. So every technology is connected with the applications and the technology solution providers. So you can partner with them and you can explore various possibilities. So you can see the Silicon Valley is there, you know, right on your computer. You know how Samsung went to Silicon Valley and partnered with Google and the world leader Nokia was thrown out. I think open innovation is all about collaboration. So the technologies developed in the other countries, how they can find the markets in India is equally very, very important. So you will find that these, these mind maps, they are connected to various technology providers and also on the technology applications. So go further, you know, as you go further, the next need for you will be to create the business models. Again, an area where our engineering students have very little idea. I mean, they, they are good when it comes to creating the solutions and the products. But when it comes to the creating business models, many of them actually fail. So what is going to be our, what is a business model first of all? So as they click over here, they get to know that we have to, you know, convert the challenges of the customers into new solutions. What is our value creation model? What is our quality? What technology we are providing? What is the design that we have created? I mean, in the previous steps, what are the cost advantages, our features and our differentiators? So they must write this. And once they have done it, it is very important for them to know what is their revenue generation model? How will they charge from the customers? Will it be high quality at the lower price or the low quality at the low price? Right? or various kind of pricing models, the pay as you go, pay on your want basis. And even important than that is basically the operating models. So what will be the operating model of the business?
Now, here is where many of the people, they are not able to create a proper operating model and they fail in the markets. Will they be a B2C model? Will it be a B2B model or will it be manufacturer or aggregator or a value added reseller or will it be franchising? I think this is one of the most important. These are most important points when it comes to commercialization of your ideas. And this is, I think, the make or break situation for any kind of a startup. And here is where many of the startups that we have seen, you know, they are not able to succeed. So find out what exactly is going to be the best kind of a operating model for you. Every mind map, it takes you from one level to another. And, you know, it takes you towards your go-to market strategies. Now, the go-to market strategy mind map is again a guided mind map. But it all starts with your, you cannot go to the market unless you have, first of all, created a great marketing campaign. What is the campaign consisting of? Many of the students are not aware about the brand positioning. So what kind of a brand, first of all, is our solution targeting at? Is it a customer service positioning, convenience-based positioning strategy like Swiggy and Zomato? Is it price-based positioning strategy? Is it quality-based positioning strategy? Brand is not about a logo. How do people know you? I mean, what exactly are you doing in few words? Or is it simply a differentiation design strategy? And if they want to know more about this, I think they can read, how do you create a space in the mind of your customers? How are you perceived as favorable, valuable, and credible to your customer? And doing something remarkable. So every you know, idea that we have mentioned over here, it enables the student to commercialize their product and create a wonderful go-to-market strategy. How will they create the awareness? You know, who will be your target audience? The customer and the business case. Uh, the product, how does it meet the requirements? So the target markets, uh, the total available market, the serviceable available market, everything. I think it is every idea. Now, you cannot create a go-to market strategy unless all these ideas are looked into. Competitive pricing, you know, the, the sales team, the sales funnel, and ultimately the sales, because this is the asset test. Every startup asset test is when it goes to the market. And this really requires a very systematic engagement. So how do you create your strategic market chains? Many of the products, they fail because of their inability of linking with the strategic market chains. Who could be those market chains, for example? Today, there are so many chains in the market. I mean, there are chains for fitness centers. Would you like to strategize with them instead of creating your own channels? Would you like to, you know, uh, tie up with the restaurant chains, the petrol pump chains? There are pharmacy chains, the food chains. I think this is a very, very important aspect of any kind of a, that is why it is called a strategy. And many of the students, they fail on this part because they are not able to strategize the fitness center chains, you know, the hospital chains, the pharmacy chains, and the strategic channel partners of the other companies. So how will you collaborate with the existing channel partners of the other company? Every step, you know, it basically helps the, the startups to really scale up, which has been one of their biggest challenges. So what you will find over here is that every strategy, every template and every idea over there, you know, you still just simply have to expand and see what that idea basically tells you. You know, Amit Sood, he had the idea of the virtual museum, but he pitched the idea to Google and Google said, what if we make you the head of the project? And today, you know, the virtual museum that you see, the googleartproject.com, is because of the collaboration of Amit Sood with the MNC company. And that is why we say that open innovation is very, very important. Your strategic locations, where exactly would your business be? So these are some very, very high priority areas for the students, for the faculty to see and create a very, very powerful go-to market strategy because there is where the business either fails or it succeeds. 
so every mind map that you see over here it guides you on the objective that you have and we always say that there is no hurry i mean go to market strategy for example should be a project at least for about 3 months minimum because it really requires you to uh, you know uh, do so many things and come out with a proper strategy and become successful a design should be at least for about 3 to 6 months so uh, the students have typically about 3 to 4 years 2 years in their college and universities each mind map itself becomes a project for them so you can you can start for example you know from the problem statement and design and trace and then you know business models go to market strategy give it as a project of at least about 2 to 3 months each template there is no hurry but unless they have done everything you know the chances i mean the moment they do it they know that they are going to be successful for sure so we want to fail proof them that is the whole objective the sources of funding now this mind map basically it connects you with the venture capital firms in india and globally i mean there are many sources crowdsourcing again connected to world innovation network angel investors vc firms one click and it takes them there so you can see the top venture capitalist companies in india but i want to basically mention a very important point over here is that in many cases the vcs they are they are only there to make the money they are not supportive of startups they act like shylocks they twist the arms and many of the times uh, they exploit the students it is very important to know that there are many better options today and that is why this world innovation network so you can see as you click here we have connected them with the corporate venturing companies today corporate venturing companies are the best options for funding so if you need the funding better than the vc there are many companies you know who are there who have created that venture capital and their sole business is to invest in the startups so any person who has created the automotive startup today he can actually you know go and talk to many of the companies over here today which are given here, here and uh, they they call for the innovation they can actually submit the pitch decks everything is online so this is the power of the package that we have which which basically connects you with so many venture capital companies that you have seen on your screen so you have venture capital in healthcare now imagine any student who has created an i you know an innovation you know how many companies are standing in the queue you have johnson and johnson you have leaps by bear you have cvs health ventures you have pfizer ventures right glexo smith klein ventures mark ventures there is no i mean there is no end and uh, the students who find it very very difficult to get the money from the venture capital you know they have much better options we wanted to open these kind of options to all the students in every sector of their business because this is an area where the students face maximum problems so whether it is novartis venture or you know the elilili ventures or sanofi ventures not only do they have accelerators they are so advanced in their open innovation that they have also opened up you know the areas their their own venture capital arms so every mind map you know that you see over here is connected to uh, so many venture capital companies and this is a very important part of the funding as we mentioned earlier so you can see this the venture capital companies on the world innovation network even directly which is given on the screen right uh yeah 274 is the number of corporate venturing companies investing in the startups today if any idea is there on the energy then right from shell to exxon to total to chevron to siemens to emerson to Ca to caterpillar venture every company is having the venture capital arm today to support the startups in your organizations 
in your institution so this is uh, as far as our idea to scale up you know journey is concerned you see how you started from a problem then you know you went into onto the design thinking process for creating the designs you know then you looked into the advanced principles of design uh, in the in the in the tris principles for creating even better solutions right then you moved into the smart products then the business models the go to market strategy all these mind maps uh, basically helping you to move from one step to the another so that there are no failures i think the biggest challenge that the startups fail is that 95% of them do not see the light of the day and we don't want that you know 95% failure rate should be there in fact it should be converted to a 95% success rate so you need to follow certain steps so just like failures you know even successful startups they do the right things and all the right things that they do they are on your screen so it is extremely important that you know these right steps are followed by them and they and they go to the right kind of funding patterns the uh, they go to the right kind of accelerators they connect with the right kind of companies so this is basically in a nutshell you know if i have to say the ideas uh, you know how how you have to expand convert an idea into a business for technology startups and you know when you have downloaded all the mind maps on your screen you know when you see this the, when it, when this is downloaded there is a section called technology startups what we saw right now was basically the startup development framework so we explored all these mind maps the second portion is the technology startups the some of the mind maps from the technology startups are also given uh, i i just want to show you uh, those mind maps also let us say for example the robotics so you have the robotics lab over there technology i think is more about application today so how your students uh, the students who are passionate about the robotics they should be given this particular robotics you know idea bank so how will they apply robotics in the field of agriculture and all these you know the moment you click over here so in india you know that you know the the women with the naked feet they keep on planting rice so is is it is it possible to automate that process the crop seeding to crop monitoring it's a very primitive agricultural system that we have right right from crop weeding to uh, processing picking and harvesting everything is done manual so you can see how great ideas can come in this field and one very important thing these are very flexible templates if a student wants to add another topic he can simply go here and click and add his own topic topic number 11 topic number 12 13 14 15 very flexible if you want to have your sub topics he can have his own ideas which will be his ideas in the field of agriculture so make sure that that the, the exploration of these mind maps is done similarly if a student has any idea on the military and safety so how military and safety robotics can be created so these technology mind maps are very important and they would give you a lot of ideas on creating new technology applications now disaster management could be one idea that your student has one click what are the areas in which the disaster management drones can function the rail accidents and the medical emergencies for example right so click on these ideas the healthcare drones just one click and you can expand them and see how many possibilities are there the endless possibilities sanitizing stadiums aerial disinfections right a hospital to home monitoring and the warning systems every idea is is basically a breakthrough idea needed by the world today 
So the whole, uh, you know, I would say the 90% of the innovations, I would say they can, they can find it here. Right? Transportation of the small medical devices to remote areas. So these ideas will help industrial application of drones. I think industry is the next big thing which is waiting for the drone applications. One click and you can see that the industrial applications of the drones have been given here in mining, for example. The, the site safety management, automatic surveying and manning, uh, the stockpile management, in the case of automobiles, in the case of warehousing, forestry. And the good thing is, you want to really stimulate your imagination, click on this drone on top with the web link, the wind link that we have created. And it takes you on the World Innovation Network platform. So it shows that there are 127 applications of the drones, which are there right on your screen. So can you imagine, you know, the students who are looking to create new applications of the drones, their imagination and creativity is stimulated. There's so many applications. So you can find out that, you know, how drones which were actually Please mute yourself. Please mute, yeah. So, so you can see that there are so many applications of drone. Now, can you imagine that the, the drone light show created by Intel, you know, is today basically, you know, helping Disney to create the light entertainment shows. The students can see this. So the application of a technology is, is extremely important and that is what they learn from this. Every mind map stimulates their imagination to create something new. So there is a company or there's a solution which is called forest restoration drones. How they're firing the seeds in the jungles today. And, 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 and if they want to really go to the mind map and see let us say, you know, who are the service, who are the drone solution providers? They can go on the link and see the various solution providers which are there. So this part of the World Innovation Network, you know, is extremely important, which is given in section five. If you do not go without the links, I think section five is a very important section, which is uh, about the technology and the technology solution provider. The, the mind maps are basically connected to the drone technology that you saw there and the drone solution providers. The robotic trends, the latest robotic trends. So edutainment, this actually becomes the edutainment for the students. If they want to see, you know, what is this autonomous security robot? The students can always go and see the video. There are several types of... Done. Could AI technology and robots improve efficiency? So an autonomous security robot provides two different tactics to reduce crime. One is... So and they understand how the technology is being applied and for which purpose. So all these channels, all these videos, they really stimulate the imagination and creativity of the students. But what is important is the next channel. So if they want to partner, if your institute wants to partner, with this company, Nightscope, to create a new market for the real estate and tie up with them. You can simply go and see, you know, which is this company and how you can actually partner with them. How you can bring those solutions to India. I think innovation to me is more about getting it into a technology sort of a partnership where technology developers and the market developers, they are two different things. The whole world is looking at India today. That is basically because of the fact that we are a self-sustainable market. So instead of developing technologies, is it possible for us to also, you know, tie up with the technology solution providers? The, the marriage of the, the, the market and the technology provider is, I think, the biggest market because that is the real commercialization. So our students and our faculty, 
is actually encouraged not only to see the technology application, but also take, make use of the research which has been done over here, you know, which is very, very important. Moli, for example, in robotics, right? How were they creating the restaurants? Uh, how they can be connected with the hospitality sector in India? How the future is being served is really very important. So you can see, uh, you know, how how this uh, technology and the market partnership, uh, this whole platform, is going to work. You is is going to work wonders if you can think about innovation as nothing but a collaboration between a technology and a market. So uh, uh, that that is something you know which is a very interesting part of the innovation. So we provide you with all these uh, linked, you know mind maps which enable you to actually go and see connect with the world innovation network uh, see the ar vr part of it for example i have seen the ar vr lab that you have created but how will the ar vr lab be used in the in the in the area of fashion right how are you going to use ar vr uh, for the virtual retailing experience one click and it takes you again on the world innovation network so every technology mind map is connected. So your students now have the whole, you know, section over here to explore the possible endless possibilities of using the AR VR in the fashion industry. So they can simply ST louder, for example, how do we use 360 and 3D immersive ARs? One click and you can see the video. The net is a little slow, but I'm sure it will work. Well, the idea was basically to, you know, just tell you how these mind maps are connected and how, what kind of a learning experience that your students will be having and not just about, I think, ideas, but also about technology intelligence, you know, which is so important. The use of the AR, VR in the automotive industry, you know, how it is being used today in the predictive analytics, in the safer driving conditions and improving driving experiences. And not only that, but in the online creation of new experiences for the people. So AR, VR in automobiles, you can simply click there and provide a unique learning experience to all, their, all your students for technologies. And that technology intelligence is very important. So you can see uh, how it is connected and how this company is trying to provide you with a unique experience of even feeling the noise of the engine. I can start the engine.
I hope you could hear the noise of the Maserati engine, right? So, so you can actually see that what kind of a unique learning experience the student get when it comes to creativity, when it comes to imagination, and uh, you know, so experience the engine, hold your space bar. So it says that 100 kilometers, 2.9 seconds. So this is what is, I think, uh, the guided mind maps, the well-connected mind maps to the entire technologies. This is very important. So what will be the AR, VR in healthcare today? How remote care to the patients can be done? You know, how the medical augmented intelligence platforms can be created? Every field, you know, uh, the fashion, the virtual stores, they are very important. Uh, how the virtual product showcases can be created. The many, many companies in India who are trying to create that. So your AR VR lab, you know, they, you can actually see the examples of how Christian Dior has done it. Go on the platform and, and see how, how this company is providing you with the AR VR experience in the perfumes category. So every business today is being digitized. And I think this is this, this whole imagination, you know, the, the whole stores which you can see here. And every perfume, if you want to know more details about them, this is how they're creating the online experiences. Which you can which you can see, you can you can find out some more details, uh, you know, more information about them. So this, these mind maps are basically going to be extremely helpful. Uh, the, the mind maps on 3D printing, the applications of 3D printing in the healthcare. So will your student want to, I mean, I've seen the 3D printer in your idea lab. What are the various possibilities of using that 3D printer today in the idea lab, in the, in the areas of pharmaceuticals business? The, the usage in the areas of construction, the usage in the areas of manufacturing. I think all these are very important, the applications. Uh, you, can, you can see this and again, you know, simply go on this to the World Innovation Network and see how 3D printers worldwide are being used today. There is a company which is printing the coral reefs. I will not run the video for the the best interest of time, but you can see and explore these videos. The students can get so many ideas. I think one of the areas where our students lack is the areas of creativity and imagination. And you cannot improve that unless they see new things. So every mind map, it stimulates imagination. And we would request everyone to explore them because not only from the point of creating innovation and startups, even for the purpose of having technology intelligence, which is so very important today, you know, in the field of getting new jobs, tech intelligence plays a very big role. So how 3D printers are being used all over, all over the world today? What are their new applications? How people are creating, you know, new applications of cars or in houses or parts or drones, they're printing drones actually today, uh, they're printing rockets, uh, so many other spare parts, you know, uh, the jewelry, the food, everything. So uh, enables you to look into these areas and, uh, you know, see the wearable technology, which is, again, the mind map, how wearable technology can be used in industries. It's not just about a smart watch. I think there are so many applications of wearable technologies in the industrial field. So many of the our innovations, which are only confined to apps, uh, will not be there in, in PIET anymore. How students and the, and the faculty can create so many safety devices in the, in the case of the industries, combine it with the 3D printing, so on and so forth. And again, go to the World Innovation Network to find out more details, simply one link over here and it takes you there. So as I said, that World Innovation Network platform, except for section one, which where you download all the tools and the mind map, all the other sections are basically for expanding your knowledge, for expanding your technology, 
knowledge, for expanding your knowledge about the needs of the industries, about the requirements that the world has, about, about the innovation competitions, and that is what it is. So, and if you want to uh, simply understand all the details of the World Innovation Network, go to section three about tools and tutorial videos, download the guidelines for faculty and students. But these guidelines, the moment you download, you know, I'll show you, just download it. It comes on your screen uh, in a few seconds. So the guidelines are there. And I can see these guidelines. You know. So whatever I have spoken in the last one and a half hours, there is a standard operating procedure for all the 10 sections. What is the purpose of every section? You know, you can just go through this in case you have missed out on anything. For example, section one is for download, right? Section two, it tells you about the policies reports for expanding your knowledge. Number three is for resources on breakthrough innovations, right? So every section, you know, it tells you number five that you have over here is for technology and the application that you have seen. I focused more over here because that was a very important part. How you can see technologies and the applications and, you know, technology providers. Every section, you know, it guides you. And then, you know, you can see six, section seven. I mean, for example, section six, it talks about resolving global challenges. The references, which mind map to refer you know, for resolving the challenges. Every template reference is also given here. And then, you know, Just speak, ma'am, mute yourself. Okay. So every section, you know, the, uh, the, the relevance of section nine for the purpose of collaboration with the accelerators, the relevance of section 10, everything. So except for section one, all the sections that you see ahead are references section connected to the mind maps. Well, I would request all the professors to please get used to the system in the next about a uh, few days or so explore it and see the tools particularly that I've mentioned to you and uh, start working on them. I think this is the best way you will need the immersion sessions and explore. I think it is very important for you to explore these tools and understand their linkages, their connections and how the ideas can be generated. Well, I think uh, I've just one second. Uh, give me one minute. Yes. So I have finished my part of the presentation in the training today. So Nilji, if there is any question that you have, let me know. But I, my suggestion would be, as I share the recording of this, every professor must devote the time to explore the World Innovation Network, download all the tools, and have some kind of a hands-on experience. Right, sir. Yeah, yeah. If there is any question that is there, I will be very happy to address. Yeah, I will share your contact num uh, number if 
if you find yes. any problem yes yes you can you can share my you know contact number or you can share my email id sure yeah. so if if you can uh, just provide to them they can always go through this download all these things you know provide any kind of a question that they have which i can answer now the next the next training session has to be done with the students so please let me know next week whatever time suits you yeah sure sir i will let you know yeah but i hope i hope the session was beneficial and i hope you were able to understand the procedure of downloading and using the tools yes sir the session was quite informative and yes. you explained it very well thank you thank you if there is any problem i am always there you can always write a mail to me or you can collate the emails uh, you know and uh, we can we can respond no problem so so shall we shall we close the session right now yeah sir i think should we close the session right now all right yes sir okay okay i take the opportunity of thanking everybody for the patient hearing and i wish you all the best please explore these tools i will share the recording of the session with dr sunil the video will be there so if there is any doubt please refer to the video once again and if there is any other doubt still you can always write a question or you can always write a mail to us and we'll be very happy to explain it to you thank you once again dr sunil and thanking all the yeah. faculty for taking their time precious time on a saturday to come over here and spend about 2 hours thank you so much thank you sir thank have you. a nice day thank you all the best okay thank you everybody for joining thank you very much